Hello everyone, you all guys are listening to me on Academy Online Platform. This topic is with the news of the first hypersonic missile in India, that is BrahMos 2. And definitely in few years, India will be self-reliance in the hypersonic missile. What is the topic and what about the recent updates regarding the first hypersonic missile in India? I will discuss with all of you in this lesson. This is my lesson number 81 and this topic is connected with the science and technology. My name is Dr. Ravi Agdari and you are listening to me on an Academy online platform. I'm, I'm a director of Purvanchal IS, where I'm providing the face-to-face -face classes at Gorakhpur. From last 18 years, I'm taking classes for civil service examinations. Two of my book published on the Magra Hill, the one is on science and taking seconds on environment. It is a highly recommended book to all of you for civil service aspirants. This is my telegram channel where you can find out my all the entire PDF regarding the classes and video updates. My academy profile on academy.com public at rate of Ravi Pegari 2010. Here you can find out my all the entire classes of the, of the an academy. And my code is Ravi UPSC during joining any courses. If you use it, you will get extra 10% discount. Why an academy is the best choice to all of you? Many educators, flexibility courses, unlimited views of lectures, live mentorships. 178 plus toppers got selected in 2021 with the help of an academy. India's best educator for UPSC, CSE, they all are available on the academy in your live lessons. So it's a great opportunity to all of you to connect with the academy. UPSC, CSE, GS subscriptions plus are iconic. Both are available and different uh, modes. Whatever you want, you can take it and the various EMI facilities. Review UPSC code will give you extra 10% discount in any of the courses. Finally, we are here into the topic of discussion. For that purposes, I made this video to all of you. Actually, you know, hypersonic missiles, why it is in news, reason it is fastest and fastest missile guys. Actually, there are three terms in the case of missiles you should know. The one is subsonic, second is supersonic and third is hypersonic. One is subsonic, second is supersonic and third one is hypersonic. And here is the news about the hypersonic. This all the speeds even considered in the respect of Mach number. And one Mach number is equal to how much it is 332 meter per second. From where this value even obtained guys. So at zero degree Celsius temperature the speed of sound in air is equal to 332 meter per second. Again, I can repeat at zero degree Celsius temperature the speed of sound in air is equal to 332 meter per second. And this 332 meter, two meter per second is called as a one Mach number. All the speeds of fighter plane, missiles, everything. Even submarines are defined on the basis of this Mach number. If the speed is less than 1 Mach, then it is called as a subsonic. Less than 1 Mach means I hope you can understand less than 32 meter per second. Okay, so up to 1 Mach, it is subsonic. More than 1 Mach, if it is more than 1 Mach, so 1 Mach plus and up to 5 Mach if it is. Up to 5 Mach if it is, so that is the part of supersonic. And 5 Mach plus in that case, it will be considered as a hypersonic. So hypersonic missile means definitely its speed will be how much? 5 mac on well, 5 mac plus guys 5 mac plus means 5 into 332 meter per second plus in that case it will consider as a hypersonic so hypersonic will consider as a fastest missile and the speed will be five times uh, mac number more than five types of mac number that is a hypersonic speed actually india will have a first hypersonic missile but it will take time guys it will take around five to six years more that is from host to as earlier there was news like from host will be hypersonic by 20 20 or maybe 2021 or 2022 but now it is a news it will delay and it will take around five to six years brahmos is a joint venture of russia and india and two holy river name as used there the one is in brahmaputra and second is on moscow brahmaputra is a holy river of india and moscow is a holy river of russia it's a joint venture of india and russia russia defense joint venture of brahmos aerospace the aerospace they are developing this brahmos too BrahMos 2 will likely be at par with the Russia's Zircon missile. Russian Zircon missile in terms of performance, the BrahMos 2 will be better than that. Zircon missile can fly nine times the speed of sound. Nine times the speed of sound means it is already have what? Hypersonic. Okay, with the speed of nine Mach. And our BrahMos will be a part of this nine Mach, guys. It will be faster than that. Hypersonic missile, I've spoken you guys that the basic part is the speed of five Mach or more than that in that cases. Okay, and see one thing more guys, hypersonic missile do not follow the ballistic tra trajectory. I think actually there are two types of trajectory. The one is ballistic type and second is cruise type. Ballistic type of trajectory is what they are following the parabolic path. And the cruise type trajectory is what they are following the horizontal to the surface. 
If this is the surface, the missile is going in the parabolic path. It is ballistic type of trajectory. If it is a surface and the, the missiles are moving horizontal to the surface, it is a cruise type of trajectory. So ultimately, I hope you understood the ballistic and cruise type of trajectory. Okay, but here the Brahmos is what it is a cruise type of trajectory because Brahmos is considering as a cruise missile of India. Okay, and this is the reason, guys, you must be clear here in these cases, you know, through the help of some of the fighter plane, yeah, some of the rockets, we must have to launch these missiles up to this height, from this height, guys. This is the one of the picture of the uh, cruise missile that you can see on the screen. Hypersonic weapon system, if you will check, there are two types of hypersonic weapon systems. The one is hypersonic guide, glide vehicles and second is the hypersonic cruise missiles. Glide vehicles are those which are which are launched with the help of some rocket boosters. Some rocket boosters are used to launch the medium. Uh, these rocket boosters are medium and long range rocket boosters. Okay, before gliding to intend the targets, okay, it must be launched with the help of rockets. The first of all, you launch with the help of rockets and later on it will glide and to the intended targets. But hypersonic cruise missile is totally different. It is already powered by own engine. That is that is a type of speed engine is called as a scramjet engine. Okay, so hypersonic glide missile will carry through the help of rocket booster. But hypersonic cruise missile is going to carry with the help of itself. Those engine is used inside it as a scramjet engine. It will work. So hypersonic glide missile uh, vehicles have a need of support of the rocket boosters and hypersonic cruise missiles has no need of any kind of supports or boosters because itself is a scramjet engine is used inside and a scramjet engine is a very advanced type of jet engine technology that india has tested firstly in 2016 later on many other tests in 19 and 20 also happen what is the advantage of hypersonic missile if you check guys the advantage of hypersonic cruise missile hypersonic missile is the long range strike options against distance defend our time critical threat guys okay they can be road mobile missile system also through the help of vehicle during the case of movement of any vehicle you can launch them okay so this is the reason the performance accuracy reliability of hypersonic missile is so much advanced okay normal conventional hypersonic weapons use only kinetic energy to destroy and harden targets or even the underground facilities okay hypersonic cruise missile is so much advanced how the hypersonic missiles made it different from the other one guys okay actually the problem is that the detection of the missile is not become very easy because of this fastest speed okay and the another one they that that can go even from the low altitude of flights ground based radar system or terrestrial radar system cannot detect the hypersonic cruise missile and that is the reason it can be more and more dangerous for the enemy nations Okay, so it detections even become very, very difficult through the help of radar systems and all. And that is the reason hypersonic missiles can be more dangerous. Now the question, which countries have a hypersonic weapons? So the one is Russia, second is China, and third is the US. So Russia have a Kinjal and Dagger, those Russia has uh, developed in 2018. And that example you people can see in the case of Ukraine, where Russia used this first time. It's a, it's a modification of Iskander missile that earlier Russia had. And Kinjal, the speed is up to 10 mag, guys, and ranges around 1200 miles when launched on the MiG 31. So it's a, it's a Russia, guys. The another one is the China based IGVs. And a part of this, uh, twice used IGV. Uh, IGV is not a heavy good vehicles. Okay. IGV is actually hypersonic glide vehicles. You remember, guys. It's a mistake you people do this. Heavy. Uh, Okay, it's a it's a glide vehicles you must be know guys it's a glide vehicles okay and the first uh, it's a landing near a target of august 2020 see df21 df26 type of missiles are the example of hypersonic missiles china actually also successfully tested the starry sky 2 Xiong, uh, Xin Kong 2 as a nuclear capable hypersonic missile prototype in august 2018 the china also have a hypersonic cruise missiles so it's a df17 that of china based missiles you can see on the loaded on the truck and the USA is also even have a hypersonic missiles it is also in developed under the Navy's conventional prompt strike program as well as through army air force and defense advanced research protection agencies they also have developed the hypersonic missiles this is the information as the some factual data just to advise and inform you guys only US Russia and China the nation which have an advanced stage of hypersonic missiles program but India, France, Germany, Japan, and Australia are in developing stage of hypersonic weapons. As India is a news guys, it will take still five to six years more. 
if you go in the high indian hypersonic missile programs so indian hypersonic uh, missile programs is developing uh, those indigenous programs it's a dual capable dual capable means it can carry the conventional and nuclear warhead both nuclear warhead means where the atom bomb can be there conventional normal warheads okay and indian hypersonic missile program is a part of hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle program it is a part of hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle program and has actually tested on the max 6 scramjet in june 2019 and 2020 so through the help of a scramjet engine scramjet engine is a supersonic combustion ramjet engine you know guys the ramjet engine is one of the very advanced engine that provide the uh, supersonic speed india got from russia but india already even tested the scramjet successfully in the recent past and scramjet engine will give you a speed of hypersonic Hypersonic Technology Demonstrator Vehicle Program is an unmanned scramjet demonstration aircraft for hypersonic speed flights. And that is the reason I'm telling you just India has started their own scramjet uh, engine. A scramjet is a, a very advanced type of jet engine technology those India already developed. And someone in the R&D research and development stages. It can carry a vehicle for hypersonic and long range cruise missiles very easily. And yeah, of course, in India, each and every missile development program is a part of DRDO. So definitely, uh, STTVB program, STTVB program will also be the part of DRDO. So this is the, everything about the news of hypersonic missile, but it will take time to India achieve the success. It will take at least five to six years as recent updates. These are some of the launching of the missiles and all the testing you people can see. Which of the place people use to launch the missiles? Kindly mention me in the comment box. So this is the entire video for that I inform you people directly join my telegram channel here you can find out my all the PDF and a part of my all the video links. My Unacademy profile is unacademy.omoblica.ravipiagari2010. Here you can find out my all the plus classes and many of the special classes that are free for all of you. Ravi UPSC is my code during joining any courses if you use it you will get extra 10% discount. Prices are going to hike on the 19th August. So before going to hike it, if you want to save your 10,000 even more in the combo subscription and 10%, so kindly use the Ravi UPSC code and join it as soon as possible. Combo include the GS plus offshore subscription both. UPSC CSC notes 2.0 is updated now uh, for the 2020, 2023 and 2024 examinations. Here the mains PYQs, every topic's comprehensive coverage, mind maps, all even given you people guys to improve your uh, studies and improve increase your efficiencies upsc csc neck batches is going to start from 18th august 2022 for 2023 and 2024 it is in bilingual and english medium both an academy is providing you the load facility if you people have a financial crunch so you can join the an academy upsc csc classes on zero percent emis and the contact number is given here UPSC CSC Super Combat is on 21st August at 11 a.m. Don't forget, here you will get a lot of rewards, scholarship. So kindly join this with the Ravi UPSC code. Unacademy Priyas 2022 is an offline mains mock test. It is going to organize. This is the exam timing is at 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. to 5 p.m. on 22nd August to 25 August 2022. And this test will be in the Jaipur, Delhi and Lucknow Center. So kindly enroll now as soon as possible. You for optional preparations and academy is also ready to help you. The many of the options courses you can see here, those and academy is providing you. So you people can join here. Courses on science and tech and environment is starting now, and even agriculture classes I'm also taking here. And that is all three topics are very, very confusing, very, very dynamic. Here you people can take my support and I'll try to help you guys as it will become more and more easy to all of you. So if you want to connect with me on the plus courses, so kindly join my code, use my code from UPSC. This is my contact number regarding any doubts, any confusions, you people can directly connect me on 7825860259. So thank you everyone, kindly subscribe the channel, like and share this video and download this video from the Telegram group. Thank you everyone, God bless you. Meet you soon in the next class with some new other topics. Take care. Jai Hind.